Have you ever wondered, what if the big one at Blackpool Pleasure Beach was redesigned in 2024? In today's video, I'll be answering that question with a Mac Hypercoaster. Blackpool Pleasure Beach have already got uh, quite a strong relationship with Mac, so if I can find the, the, the correct track, here we go. We will start the ride. Drop out the station. It does need to buy it be quite high up, doesn't it? I'm gonna do a drop out the station, but with an out the bank like Hyperia. All right, we're gonna straighten out here. And then because it's a bit flat, we're gonna go into an airtime hill, I think. And then here we go, we've got lift hill. We've got to get 213 foot. Uh, it's 214, it won't hurt. 215 even. All right, we're gonna, the big one has got quite an iconic drop. Um, <laughs> iconic, get what I mean? Haha, <laughs> I can. Yeah, it's got quite a really good drop but it's just a bit rough. So we're gonna unroughen it and we're gonna start off with a drop. DC Rivals at Warner Brothers Movie World in Australia, Gold Coast has actually got a drop similar to the big one. Now we're gonna gradually gonna lift up again. We want the lift to be a lot faster as well. We'll do it around 15. And let's just get some of this shaping down. The turnaround on the big one is quite slow, boring. So what we will be doing is a bit like the Hyperion one with an outer bank, but I don't want to do the death roll. And we're going to make the trains five long, uh, like most Mac hypercoasters. And this and this airtime hill isn't the triangle one, which is quite good as well, because the triangle airtime hills are horrid on the big one. It's literally what most people say, most people call it, it's like a monorail. If Hyperia had an airtime hill, I think that would have been really good. But it's understandable because it's a, um, it's, it's more of a thrill kind of ride. It's not meant to be airtime focused, I would say. Even, I can, I can actually counter that because of the uh, massive outer bank. Right, there is a bit of a turn, so we're gonna do a slight um turn here good fast speed as well 97 92 if this was this could be like the fastest in the uk if it re if it was open again right i we're going into the outer bank now the turnaround section so it's going to go around like this right we'll start turning around as well I want it to be a nice, good pace. I will not be doing custom supports for this ride as well, uh, as I can't be bothered. But I will be uh, giving you guys a POV of the ride. If you want to see more challenge videos like this, feel free to subscribe. Give me some ideas. Oh, it's a really nice pace. I think I'm going to flick it back round as well. So, like, it starts to roll as it's coming round back it starts to roll over back into the original banking that it should be. A bit like uh, before the brake run on Hyperia as well. Hyperia is probably my biggest inspiration for this ride, mixed with DC uh, Hyper uh, thing, whatever it is. This obviously would never come to Blackpool Pleasure Beach, but it's just a nice fun thing to make. I can never see Blackpool getting anything as crazy as this. Right, I think I'm gonna go into like an inversion now. Or some kind of stall. If you've got any roller coasters you want me to redesign, feel free to put them in the chat and I will do it. In the comments even. Or join my uh, Discord. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Did you just say Discord? Yes, we've got a Discord. I don't think anyone who's watched my videos have known about it. Sneak peeks for new videos, pings for every video. We've got park suggestions, roller coasters I've been on, epic photos, and nice, friendly chats. Join the Discord today. Link in the description. Right, yeah, it's definitely going into some sort of stall now. What should we call this ride? The bigger and better one. Yeah, it is going to be called the bigger and better one. And then it's going to go into 180 degrees now. Imagine you just like, you see you coming on the drop, you coming down the drop, and you see this upside down stall bit, and you're just like, oh my god, what the hell? I think it does this, and then goes into another airtime hill, and then goes into the brake run, doesn't it? Or the the mid course. Right, this is where I'm gonna just do one of these type of ones where it just comes back. 
that still lasts so long. It's like the Batman one. Should we just like add a LSM holding station, holding part on it? Imagine that. Imagine like an upside down launch. You're hanging upside down on your launch. That could be quite. That, that might be my new, my next uh, video. Launching upside down, like a zero G stall, and you launch on it as well. Right, yeah. So it go. It does an air time, turns a bit, and does the the uh, mid course brake ram, doesn't it? Right, it goes into the brake room and then into the helix. Icon would be about here, wouldn't it? Icon's really not tall. What I hate about the big one mid course, it break, it slows it down so much. And then we'll go into the helix. I'm still gonna do a helix, obviously, because helixes are so fun, even to this day. A lot of bunny hills as well I'll do when it comes out and then goes up a bit into the tunnel round into the brakes. Should we can do it we can do a double helix but I can't. I don't we might not have enough space for it. Should I turn it into an outer bank like a velocity coaster? Yeah, might as well. I'm having to, we're gonna have some fun. It's not always about being realistic, and, I'd, and it's a bit boring if I copy the Helix. If you guys want to see any other coasters redesigned in 2024, or any any specific year, like maybe I can build Icon in 1993 or something. I, I really can't wait to go on a Hyperia. It just looks really good. Everything about it, I'm so excited. I've been watching all the construction. I actually saw it in real life uh, when I was going down to Chessington uh, in the win on uh, New Year's. And I got on the final ride of Mandrill Mayhem of 2023, which is kind of really special. Uh, and we saw Stealth for the first time, Hyperia as well, Swarm, Colossus, Saw. So we saw it all on the, on the way. We saw it all on the way. Oh, I'm so funny, aren't I, guys? Okay, big turn now into the brake run. This is where the tunnel would be, I I say. It flicks you, and then it go, it kind of steadies out, and then out of bank again. I think another out of bank. I look, I love a bit of out of bank, still now. Actually, no, I'm just gonna do a bunny hill, and then it's gonna go into the final brake run, uh, and then yeah, that's it for the ride. I'll go a quick, very, very quick smooth of the ride. And yeah, once I've finished, when I'm finished, you guys will get the POV. Right, we finished the ride. What should we call it? Obviously, the big and better one. <laughs> 